Hey guys, so this video is about using a rejection region and hypothesis test for a population mean which is right tailed and our population standard deviation is known. So let's go ahead and go back to the PowerPoint. Okay. So we're using the rejection region and a hypothesis test for a population mean where we know the standard deviation and we know what's right tailed. Okay, so let's do a problem. The State Education Department is considering introducing new incentives to boost the reading levels of fourth graders. The mean reading level of fourth graders in the state over the last five years was a Lexile reading measure of 800L. A Lexile reading measure is a measure of complexity of the language that a reader is able to comprehend. The developers of the new program claim that their techniques will raise the mean reading level for fourth graders by more than 50L. To assess the impact of their initiative, the developers were given permission to implement their ideas in the classroom. At the end of the pilot study, a simple random sample of 1,000 fourth graders had a mean reading level of 856L. It is assumed that the population standard deviation is 98, using a 0 0.05 level of significance should the findings of the study convince the Education Department of the validity of the developer's claim. First thing, state the null and alternative hypothesis. The developers wanted to show that their classroom techniques would raise the fourth grade mean reading levels to more than 850L. So this is really written mathematically as the mean is greater than 850. And since it's the research hypothesis, it's going to be our, our alternative. The mathematical opposite of the mean greater than 850 is the mean less than or equal to 850. Thus, we have the following hypothesis. Our null is the mean is less than or equal to 850. Our alternative is our mean is greater than 850. Okay. Determine which distribution to use for the test statistics and state your level of significance. Okay. Note that the hypothesis are statements about the population mean. The standard deviation of the population is also known and the sample is a simple random sample. We do know that the sample size is at least 30. So then we can use a normal distribution, which means we need to use the z-test statistics. In addition to determining which distribution to use for the test statistic, we need to state the level of significance. The problem states that the alpha is 0 0.05. Okay, so you're going to gather your data and calculate the necessary sample statistics. Okay, at the end of the pilot study, a simple random sample of 1,000 fourth graders had a mean reading level of 856L. The population standard deviation is 98L. Okay, so we're going to plug that in. Z equals that standard, excuse me, Z equals that sample mean, which is 856, minus the population mean, which was 850, divided by in parentheses, 98, which was the sample standard deviation, excuse me, was the population standard deviation, divided by the square root of 1,000, which was our sample size. When you do that mathematically, you get 1.94, okay? So now we have to draw conclusions and interpret their decisions. Remember, we can determine the type of pet test based on the alternative hypothesis. In this case, the alternative hypothesis contained a greater than symbol, which indicates it's a right-tailed test. To determine the re rejection region, we need the z-value so that the 0 0.05 of the area under the standard normal curve is to the right. If 0 0.05 of the area is to the right, then 1 minus 0 0.05 equals 0.95 is the area to the left. So we look up 0 0.9500 in our z-table and we get a critical value of 1.645. This is the table in the very front of the book. It's the table used in Chapter 6 for the normal distribution. Because we're assuming that this data is normally distributed, we can use that table. Alternately, we can look up the confidence, the level of confidence equals 0.95 in the table of the critical Z values for the rejection regions. Either way, the rejection region is Z is greater than or equal to 1.645. Okay, so we're saying anything that falls in that region of 1.645, we're going to reject the null. And look, our Z statistic was 1.94. So yeah. What does that mean? Because it fell into that purple area, we can reject our null. 
So the conclusion is to reject the null. Thus, the evidence collected suggests that the education department can say 95% sure on the validity of the developer's claim that the mean Lexile reader measurement of fourth graders will be increased by more than 50 points. So that means our research hypothesis we accepted and we rejected our null. Okay, we'll do left on the next video.